dramatic testimony in the courtroom today in the case of the Paris couple accused of imprisoning and starving their 13 children. KCAL9's Tina Patel is live tonight in Riverside with the disturbing details heard in court today. Tina? Well, this hearing is to decide whether there's enough evidence for the Turpins to go to trial. And the prosecutors did not hold back, putting a half dozen investigators on the stand, showing graphic photos and revealing disturbing details of what they say the couple's 13 children were forced to endure. Louise and David Turpin showed very few emotions as they sat in the courtroom, not even reacting when the 911 call made by their 17 year old daughter was played. That 17 year old seen here in earlier YouTube videos had escaped from a front window of the family's Paris home in January, but she had trouble telling dispatchers her address because she hadn't been out much. She said she was worried about two of her little sisters who were chained up by their parents and tried to describe their living conditions. Quote, I can't breathe because of how dirty the house is. That 17 year old also told investigators that although much of the abuse came from her mother, her father tried to sexually assault her when she was 12. She said he pulled her pants down and put her on his lap, then told her not to tell anyone. In social media posts, the Turpin children are seen wearing matching clothing on trips to Las Vegas and Disneyland. But investigators showed very different photos in court, saying when the children were rescued, they were caked in dirt and wearing soiled undergarments. They say the children were rarely allowed to bathe. One girl saying that she changed her clothing to go out for Mother's Day, and when she came home, she was to put the same dirty, soiled clothing back on. As for the medical condition of the children, doctors found one of them had liver damage due to malnutrition. Another had a vitamin D deficiency and visible scoliosis. And an 11 year old girl had a body weight percentile of just 0.01. Her upper arm, the size of a four and a half month old baby. This case is just about what the family went through when they were living in Murrieta and Paris. Some of what we heard today makes it clear that the allegations of abuse began when the, when the family lived in Texas. Arguments are expected to resume in the morning.